Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I will be answering some of the most frequently asked questions about the new WhatsApp Business API, and more specifically about the cloud version. Because I know that some of you have a lot of confusion, and I've seen a lot of comments, and people have asked me a lot of different things because in some of my previous videos, I've touched on some of the concepts and things that you need to know about this new WhatsApp Business API, but I noticed that there is still a lot of confusion. And so what I'm trying to do with this video is resolve those questions because I want to make sure that you fully understand what this API does so that you can leverage it in your business and use it to your advantage. So without further ado, let's get started. What's the difference between the WhatsApp Business App and the Cloud API? Okay, so the first confusion that I've seen people have is that they don't understand what is the difference between this new API version that WhatsApp released. Well, actually, Facebook or Meta was the one who released this new API uh, for WhatsApp. And most people don't even know what is the difference between using that API versus using the WhatsApp business app that you already have on your phone. And let me tell you that it's very different in the sense that basically this API is like a toolbox that WhatsApp gave you. And so uh, with the WhatsApp business uh, app that you already have on your phone, the one that you use to reach out to clients or to reply to messages or to send messages to people, you can continue to use that one. But this new API is sort of an advanced version of WhatsApp business. And so it's advanced in the sense that it's basically a toolbox that lets you build whatever you want. And so if you have a particular need in your business, or for example, if you already have a CRM, or I don't know, let's say that, for example, you want to have the ability to automate certain things in your business. So, that, for example, uh, whenever someone places an order in your system, then you want to automatically send a text message, well, not a text message, a WhatsApp message to this person, letting him know, hey, thank you for your order. This is the tracking, the tracking number. This is your order ID. Here's your receipt or whatever you want to do. Or if you want to ask for feedback about the order or stuff like that, and you want to automate the entire process, then the WhatsApp business app, the one that you already have on your phone, won't let you do that. However, with the new WhatsApp business API, you will have the option to do all sorts of things because with this toolbox, you can connect it to the different services that you already have in your business and optimize your internal operations. What's the Cloud API version? Okay, so before we talk about this WhatsApp API, I do want to tell you that in the first video of this video series that you are watching, I elaborated on the concept of API and I explained what it is and I even gave you different examples. But just to make sure that we're all on the same page, an API is just a way for two different applications to communicate each other. And so, that basically means that, for example, let's say that I have a system where I manage the inventory uh, of the different products that I sell. And let's say that, for example, every time that there is a, a product back in stock, I want to send some sort of notification to my clients letting them know, hey, I already have this product in my system. It is back in stock. And so if you want to purchase it, just click here and go to this page and do this and that. Let's say that I want to automate that kind of operation. Well, with this new Cloud API, you are allowed to do things like that because, it, as I said earlier, it's a toolbox that lets you build whatever you want. And so, basically, this Cloud API, uh, what's very cool about it is that you don't have to worry about maintaining any servers. You don't have to worry about hosting this in your own computers or paying someone to host this. You don't have to do any of that because it lives in the cloud. And basically what that means is that it lives in WhatsApp and Facebook servers. And so you don't have to worry about maintaining anything. You don't have to pay for any of that because they take care of maintaining their own API and they simply give you access to it so that you can take advantage of that. And so that is the, the big difference because there used to be something called the on-premises API, but that one let you do exactly the same. But the difference is that you'll have to maintain it yourself, but not anymore because you can certainly use the cloud API. It's free 
Anybody can use it. Anybody can set up a developer account on Facebook and start taking advantage of this. And so this is the version that you should be using these days. Is this WhatsApp business API available for any business? The good news is that this is something that you can use in your business. And this is something that they made publicly available. And it doesn't matter the size of your business, whether it's a small, medium or large, you will have the ability to use this in your business, to leverage this new tool and to start taking advantage of the many opportunities that this opens to you. And this used to be something that was only available for certain businesses, uh, primarily, let's say, for airlines or for like big uh, governmental institutions, but not anymore. This is something that anybody can go to Facebook. And this is actually something that I explained in my previous videos. I explained to you how to create a developer account, how to create an app that you can use, how to start sending and receiving text messages. And so go and watch the previous videos because I elaborate on that concept. But the answer to this question is that yes, any kind of business can start using this today for free. What can I do in my business with this API? Well, as I said before, uh, the sky is the limit. And, and this is actually something that will depend on your creativity or in your particular business needs. Let me actually read to you what they say about this API. And by then referring specifically uh, about Facebook. So it says that using the API, businesses can build systems that connect thousands of customers with agents or bots, enabling both programmatic and manual communication. Additionally, you can integrate the API with numerous backend systems such as CRMs and marketing platforms. So this is basically what I was telling you before. And like I've been trying to come up with different scenarios, you can use this, but the truth is that I mean, you can do all sorts of things with this. And I would say that the, that the main usage uh, that people will do is they will use this for marketing because obviously you want to be in constant communication with your clients. You want to let them know about your services, about your products. You want to help them. You want to be in constant communication so that you can install yourself in your customers' minds. But at the same time, you can also use this, let's say, for customer support. So what happens if someone has an inquiry about your order or if someone wants to ask you about a particular need that they have or if their business can help them with some challenges that they're having. So these are like the main usages, customer support and marketing. But again, this is really limited to your imagination. And I can stress this enough because this is not limited to any particular use case. And with the tools that they give you, you will be allowed to build whatever you want. How can I implement and use this API in my business? This is a very interesting question because the truth is that this API, even though it is a focus on businesses and this is a solution for businesses, the truth is that in order for a business to use this, they need to hire a developer or a team of developers uh, to build a custom implementation because at the moment, I mean, they give you the toolbox, but you will have to build the tool yourself. And so this is important to keep in mind, but wait, I mean, even though that's bad news for a lot of people, because let's say that you don't have any experience whatsoever hiring developers, or you don't even have someone that you can hire for this, or you don't have the budget to do it. Well, for those of you who are in that scenario, then I have very good news because in my company we are building a solution this is something that a lot of people have been requesting and and, and fortunately like i've seen a lot of i've been posting these videos and, and teaching people about this new whatsapp api and i've seen a lot of emails and comments and people have written to us uh, using social media asking if it's possible for us to help them build a custom application for their businesses and you know what we decided is that we are going to release a very powerful solution. It will be a web application that will let people use this WhatsApp business API in their businesses. And so if you want to start messaging people or if you want to start scheduling automated campaigns or if you want to send bulk custom messages to your clients. I mean, if you want to start taking advantage of all the power that this new API brings to your hands, 
then we have very good news because we're working on this application that we will be releasing in a few days. It will be actually available uh, for beta testing for a small list of people at the moment. But if you want to subscribe to the waiting list that we have at the moment, then click on the link that you will find in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe because if you have a business and you want to take advantage of this and if you are to start implementing this in your business then subscribe in the waiting list and we will let you know as soon as the app is ready because i'm telling you it will be a game changer for your business and so you don't want to miss out on this so click on the link below that you are going to find in the comment section and that way you'll be the first to know as soon as the app is ready can I use my existing phone number? If so, can I also continue to use it in the WhatsApp mobile app? I want you to pay close attention to this because I don't want you to make the same mistake that a lot of people have already made. What do I mean? This, if you already have a WhatsApp phone number, let's say that you are using your personal phone number or a business phone number, if you switch to the Cloud API version and if you add that phone number in the cloud api interface then you won't be able to use that number anymore in your phone okay so it's very important that you keep that in mind because if right now you're using the the mobile app to communicate with people and to send messages and stickers and whatnot then if you switch to the other version you won't be able to do that anymore and you will only be able to use the phone number using the api version that they release and so be careful and what i encourage you to use is simply a different phone number just get yourself a different number that you can use just for these purposes i mean you will be able to send and receive messages as you want to but you won't be able to do it in the app and so please keep that in mind and make sure that you make a good decision and use the phone number that you want to use because this action is irreversible is this service free or how much does it cost well, the good news is that this API is completely free. This new service that WhatsApp made available is completely free. It's something that people can start using without having to pay a single dollar. And if you want to start taking advantage of this in your business, then you are allowed to do it without paying anything. Anybody can set up an account on Facebook. Anybody can set up a developer account and start sending text messages today. And it's as simple as that. However, one thing that you should know is that there is a limit on the conversations that you can send for free per month. And so right now there is a limit of 1000 conversations that you can send for free. And after you reach that limit, you'll have to pay for any additional conversations that you send. And let me actually clarify for you the concept of conversation. So basically a conversation is the number of messages that you send in a 24 hour period. And so, if you start a conversation with a customer and you send him a text message, a, a WhatsApp message, actually, as soon as you do that, you will have 24 hours to send any number of messages and it, will, and, and it will be treated as the same conversation. But as soon as you reach the 24 hour period, as soon as the 24 hour period ends, then at that point, any new messages that you send will be treated as a whole new conversation. And so that basically means that you have the ability to send 1000 conversations and as soon as you reach the limit, then you'll have to pay for any additional conversations. And it's a pay as you go. I mean, you don't have to pay a specific fee. You only pay the number of conversations that you sent additionally. And you can see here that, uh, for example, well, I mean, there's they, they're talking here about the conversation based pricing that they have. There is a lot of useful information. But there are two things that you need to know. Any conversation fall into two categories. It was either user initiated or business initiated. And uh, here you can see that you have the free tier, which is 1000 conversations. And if you exceed that number, then let me actually, oh, actually I, I already have it here. I want to show you here the, the price that you'll have to pay in dollars. And you see that there is a difference if you started the conversation then there is one price which is slightly higher than the user initiated rate and i don't know let's say that for example you're sending text messages to india you see that here is the price for india so let's say that i 
sent 100 additional conversations in India and you see that the price is, per, is pretty low. However, if let's say, for example, I'm sending, I'm starting, I'm sending 100 conversations, 100 additional conversations to France, then you see that here it is a different price and it went from being less than a dollar to $14 a month. So just keep that in mind because it gives you the flexibility to send as many messages as you want to, but just be careful because if you exceed the number, then yeah, then, then you'll have to pay a, an additional fee for that. Okay, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helped you answer and resolve a lot of different doubts that you have in your mind about this new API. The truth is that there are actually a lot more questions that people have asked me that I will be answering in future videos. So if you want to stay tuned and you want to receive a notification when I post a new video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I will be posting more videos very soon. Thank you for your time.